trying a little video in the alleyway here for you guys today. But I wanted to do a quick video on how much does it cost to have a beef processed and what are some things that can change that. Hey guys, I'm Bryson, fourth generation cattle rancher here in North Texas, and I'm here at our USDA processing plant where we run our own farm to table beef company, and we try to teach you guys as much as we can along the way. So there's gonna be a couple things that go into the price of having beef processed. The first are gonna be your fixed fees, and these are pretty standard in our area. Now, what people charge may vary a little bit, but for the most part, you're gonna have two fixed fees, at least we do here at the Parker County Beef Company. That's gonna be your harvest fee, and your disposal fee. And what that is, that's a fixed fee that accounts for the labor and the disposal of your animal, taking it from the hoof, putting it on the rail, getting rid of all the inedible products, sending those off to the rendering plant. It's gonna be pretty, pretty set cost. Your processing plant should be able to provide that for you. A majority of your processing cost is going to come from your variable charge, and there's a ton of different names for it. We call it um, your rail weight or your rail processing charge. You might hear it as your hot weight processing charge, your rail charge. And that's basically the fee per pound of hanging weight that you're gonna be charged for processing your animal. Now here for our USDA inspected products, we charge $1.20 per pound. And that's based on the hanging weight after the animal has been skinned and all of the insides have been removed. And it's just a big old hanging side of beef there. That's the weight we go off of. Now that's gonna change a little bit smaller gonna have a lower, great big, higher cost. And you wanna make sure that you know any minimums associated with that because there is a certain amount of work that's associated. Even if you bring in a small calf, it's gonna be the same or almost the same amount of work, time and opportunity uh, on that plant to process that. So make sure you know about any minimums. And then the third cost that you're gonna run into are any of your further processing. So this would generally be anything past steaks roasts, and ground so if you're going to have anything tenderized like some cutlets or some tenderized round steaks if you're going to have hamburger patties made if you're going to have any kind of sausages or things like that made or any kind of special blends on your ground beef those are all generally going to be a per pound charge on your processing bill so you should be able to break it down your fixed costs your variable cost and then your further processing get a good idea Give a phone call to your processor. They should be able to break those down for you or send you a price sheet and help you talk through that. I hope that clears it up. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll see y'all next time.